Hey guys, if you enjoy watching our videos, please consider subscribing to our channel. Also hit that notification bell and you will be notified when we post future videos. Give those fingers some exercise and hit that like button. That lets us know that you like and enjoy our videos. Also leave a comment. We're here 24 seven. We'd love to hear from you. So let's get right to the video. Enjoy. All right, let's get back to it. It's not easy getting up in the morning to go work on the van. But I'm going to work on at least two things every day. So this way I don't back myself up into a corner. We've got about two months before we have to go pick up the RV. Back to work. I'm going to cut the bed just a little bit more. After we put the uh, sheet and cover on it, it's going to be a little too snug. I got to give it a little bit more room. Now this job has me sewing. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I've done this. My mom used to sew all the time. Yep, I really suck at this. I know, you ain't gotta tell me. It's the worst sewing job you have ever seen. <laughs> This is the mattress pad, so you're really not going to see it. Me and Gina picked out these covers, and it's only fitting. We've got a penguin, we've got a bear, we've got a moose. Awesome. I bought these handles here. I'm going to put it right on this railing. It's going to make it easier for us to bring the bed up and down. These handles came out really nice. All right, I'm gonna tackle this uh, diesel heater and see if I can get that glow plug in there and get this thing going. Damn, I didn't notice all that dust in there. That's where the air intake is. I hope all that dust didn't go inside and screw something up. So I was able to take the cover off without having to take out the whole unit. So that's a good thing. And that right there is the glow plug, which has to be replaced. This is the replacement part. And it actually comes with a little tool to take it out with. guys so far it's been pretty easy I haven't run into anything that's difficult here's the part it really doesn't seem like there's anything wrong with it but what do I know it's got a screen filter in there I thought I was gonna have a hard time getting it out 
but I use this here just pushed it in there and popped it right out so if you look at these two side by side the one on the right is the one that's damaged and the cylinder is not all the way round there is a small portion of it that's missing well guys I am just fed up with this diesel heater I tried to get it going and I got another error code which was an E06 it had something to do with the fan I got the fan going here and there but it kept cutting off so I'm just gonna say I got a bad diesel heater I'm gonna order another one install that one and I hope that I have better luck I ordered this headlamp and we're gonna go ahead and change it out today I already did the uh, driver's side so the passenger side one is really dim and dull so let's go ahead and replace it easy baby's in I got all this out of a body pillow I thought I needed two but I think I only need one I got the covers and I'm gonna fill that up with this and that's gonna be the pillows for the side of the bed I had bought these but they weren't big enough they just sink right in And that's going to fill up the empty space. Check this out. This is the uh, carpet that we're going to go with. I really like the colors. It's not too loud and it also has brown in it. I like the backing. It's made out of rubber so it's going to stick really nice to the uh, hardwood floors. And it's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to move around. And that's what we were looking for. Guys, we're going to work on this molding today. I got this one and... I only got an eight foot one. I wanted a longer one this way. I don't like to separate pieces. I like it to be as a whole. So I need to go back and get a longer piece. But I had went to, to Home Depot first to get this. Then I came home, then I needed to go to Lowe's. And when I got to Lowe's, I went all the way over there and I couldn't find my wallet. So I was like, dang. Came all the way back home, tried to search for my wallet and I couldn't find it. I went back to Home Depot where I originally was uh, at, at the, <clears throat> the first time around and uh, nobody had my wallet there, nobody turned it in, so I was like, geez. So I just started pulling all my, the, both my chairs up in the uh, van and I found it all the way hidden, all the way underneath, so it must have fallen and there it was. So it's been that kind of a day, but uh, I got to get started on this van and do some more things and just keep moving forward. Ooh, it's a nice day today, so it's not cold, so hopefully I can get some stuff done. These are the boards that I've cut, and they're going to go in there to give it some support. sturdier I bought this little waste basket here it's actually pretty cool it's got a little compartment here to put uh, extra bags in it opens up like this and you can just pull it out we're gonna put this on the door it's gonna go right here I'm gonna cut a board for it just to give it some background and this is the board that I cut out and I gave it some uh, round corners and then I'm gonna put a wallpaper on top of that I actually had the wrong door <laughs> it's actually going to go right here. This is what happens when you're inexperienced. It's all crooked. Lord have mercy on my soul. All right, so this is what it looks like. It's a nice little wastebasket. I like the way the project came out. I left that open to the right because I'm thinking of putting something there. I just don't know what just yet. 
these little stickers right here, they were almost impossible to get off. I don't know what the hell they glue them with. Another thing we got in today is our board and that is going to actually go on this side of the door. It's going to be a folding table which is going to allow us if we're inside the van or outside the van. It's just an extra table that we can put food or drinks. I gotta say we've been really blessed and lucky that we've had family and friends that have allowed us to use their home so we can do this van build. I mean this has been a long work in progress and I can't even imagine where I would have been able to do this. So for that we are so grateful but at times it's really difficult because we're sitting in a driveway, we're making a lot of noise, we've got machinery going on and we don't want to be disrespectful to the neighbors so we are trying to get this done and over with as quickly as possible so we can hit the road next day good afternoon guys today we're going to work on these railings up top there i've been putting them off but today i'm going to go ahead and tackle that and see if i can get that done the other thing i want to do is put two puck lights over here i didn't do that from the beginning which i should have i didn't really think that we would need them but at night time it's definitely going to be useful Man, I can't stand when that happens. Can't find the stud, and you end up with three holes. <laughs> I've never used this, but I was always curious. It's a peelable rubber coating, and uh, it was on sale, so I went ahead and got it. I'm going to use this on the boards. Let's see how that turns out. Have you ever had a couple of days where you feel like life has been really good to you? The last couple of days have been like that for me. I've been feeling really clear-minded. I've got a lot of stuff done. Life just looks good. I know that I'm not going to have this feeling every day, but I wish I did. And today is one of those days that I feel really good, so I'm going to take full advantage of it. the uh, new diesel heater in. I'm going to take out the one that I've got in there because it's just not working. And this one hopefully will do the trick. So my whole logic behind this diesel heater is that I don't have a whole lot of time to waste trying to diagnose what's wrong with the one that I've got. I'm going to plop this one in and hopefully I'll have better luck. But I'm going to pull that one out and I'm going to open it up and I'm just going to get to know it. I would love to be able to fix uh, the diesel heater if it breaks down. There isn't that many moving parts to it. I've joined a couple of forums on Facebook so that should really help me out and I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to it because I really want to know how these work. I really like the way this bed looks and the way it works. It just looks really professional and for that I've got to pat myself in the back. Alright it's time to remove this diesel heater. I'm not going to lie, this has been a real pain in the ass, changing this over. I tried to uh, correct a couple things to see if it would uh, start just before I take it off and it's still the same thing, I'm getting a lot of smoke so I don't really know what's wrong with it but just taking the uh, heater out of there and replacing it, it's not a fun job. moments later all right I'm gonna take a deep breath here I've got it all installed I didn't change all the parts because most of the parts are universal as far as the electrical goes so we're gonna go ahead and crank it up and see if it works all right let's turn it on It's starting to blow out some air. It's cold right now.
I've got everything just temporarily set up. The muffler is going. I can hear the pump going. Oh, this would be such a big relief if I can get this going. Come on, baby. You can do it. I decided to put the uh, pump on the outside. After watching videos, you won't get that much noise inside the van. I can still hear it, but it might not be as bad. Well, it's definitely doing something different than the other one was, that's for sure. All right, I don't know if you can hear it, but it is pumping a lot of air and it is warm. It's getting hotter and hotter as I'm talking. The light is on yellow. It should get red soon. But right now I'm getting a lot of heat. Oh. <laughs> I cannot tell you how happy I am. Oh. All right, that is blowing a lot of heat out. All right, it's always hard to film and test at the same time. But the heater is working great. There is a little smoke coming out of the muffler. Hopefully that's just the fuel working its way out. But I am so happy <laughs> that this is actually working. Ah, hot air. That feels so good. Before we end this video, I wanna talk about a couple of things. The way this trash can actually works is if you pull it forward, that's when you can empty it out. And if you want to put trash in, you just pull it up. It also has a compartment here that if you want to put an air freshener inside, you can do so. Which I thought was pretty cool. I also finished our folding table, so when you pull it up, it locks into place. So this is the setup that I've got down below, and I went ahead and attached everything in place so it doesn't move around. If you notice before, this line here, which is a diesel fuel line, was leaking into a container. It was uh, touching up against the exhaust, so it created a leak. I went ahead and fixed that and got everything situated so we don't have that problem down the road. I've got my exhaust set up over here, which is really just uh, in place with the edge here. It's got enough tension that it's not going to go anywhere. And when we turn on the heater, I can just pull this down and face it downward. And when I'm finished, I'll just put it right back up. I don't think it's going to go anywhere, but if it does, I'll figure it out at that point. But I think that's a good setup. I've got the air intake here, and I've got that locked out as well. This is the final setup for the diesel heater, and this is the vent here where all the hot air comes out. And I just got it set up from the back, coming all the way out to the front. I was a little worried that once we put the bed down, there wasn't going to be that much air in there for the heater to breathe in. So I created this vent here. This one's gonna be the intake for the fresh air, and this one's gonna be the outtake for the hot air. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this week's video. If you haven't subscribed yet, you do have the opportunity to do so at the end of this video. Sorry for the in-between lag of videos. We just don't have anything to say, and we don't have anything to show you. Unlike our guy Chrome at Van City Van Life who puts out a video just about every five hours, if you haven't checked out his channel, do so. He's got a lot of interesting stuff. He's doing the whole van life thing over in Canada and he is the hardest working creator that I know. All right, we'll see you on the next V-I-D-E-O. That's just me being silly. This is...